Hi students, how are you? I hope all of you are doing fine. Absolutely fine, right? You know, unfortunately we face an unexpected pandemic situation. But anyway, we have to face, so we have to overcome. Right? So anyway, let us start our new lesson, Human Respiratory System. Okay? So, let us enjoy the class with a very advanced application. Okay, so shall we move to our class? Okay, so first uh, let us discuss how lungs are protected. See this image. See this? You can see ribs, I mean parts of skeletal system. A, a strong bony cage at our chest cavity. Do you remember how is it called? It is known as rib cage. So lungs and also heart are protected in rib cage. And here, here you can see a brown color part here. That is known as which is made up of tracheae. That is known as that part is known as tube-like structure that is known as trachea. This trachea enters into triangle shaped brown color uh, lens. Okay, That is structure of lens. Next, let's just discuss about working of lens. See, this is the working model of lens. Suppose that blue color see this blue color part is known as diaphragm okay and these two balloons purple color balloons you know symbolize lens this white tube is trachea and this trachea okay now let us discuss how does it work when ribs move down just observe ribs sorry diaphragm moving down right at that time what happens to this balloons balloon swells that means naturally you know air enters that means inhaling we inhale okay then next moment diaphragm going again i mean it's former position so at that time what happens to that uh, balloon i mean lens so yes the size decreases that means air goes out so in this way in our lens tube diaphragm going down and you know air air enters the lens then uh, diaphragm again moving back i mean moving upward so just observe that that movement that change of the size of the lens the size of the balloon okay it decreases that means air goes out that means exhales we exhale okay so that is the working of in the same way our heart uh, sorry our lens also work so did you get the correct idea so you can observe the, the movement of diaphragm and lens in that 3D image. See. Okay. Thank you.